Welcome back, friends. It's still night, barely 5 a.m. on the day two of our trek across the Arledge Glacier. In the light of our headlamps, we make our way down to the mighty Arledge Glacier below. As the hut was fully booked, our guides decided for an early start. The sun has barely made an appearance and the glacier lies below us in the cold dark night. The hiking path down to the glacier is challenging, but not as scary as the Via Ferrata style access to the hut on the day before. Still, to keep everyone safe, we are walking on the short rope. It is not long until we reach the bottom of the trail and the glacier. From here, we will make our way across the glacier to the triangular mountain in the distance. As we started very early, no one else was here beside us, and the colors of the early morning sunrise were just incredible. The border of the glacier features a lot more crevasses, so our first goal will be to reach the center of the glacier. Due to the large amount of crevasses, this initial terrain is quite challenging and required a lot of backtracking. The closer we get to the center of the glacier, the easier the terrain gets. With the sun just rising, the look back towards Jungfraujoch, the point where we started our hike one day ago, is just amazing. It doesn't take long until we reach the medial moraine. This collection of rocks is the result of the glaciers meeting further up at Concordia Place. With the sun just rising across the local mountain range, we took some time to relax and recover some strengths. It was still early in the morning, but we already had been walking for quite a while. The upper part of the trek from day one was quite easy, in the lower part we were required to jump a lot more often. With the rope and our experienced guides however, we never felt unsafe.
With the crevasses opening up more and more, getting off the glacier was the most challenging part. The location where we would leave the glacier is also known as Am Arlech Gletscher. You can reach this place with an easy hike from Fiesche Alp. Our approach from the glacier required a lot of focus. At our destination, we were greeted by the Mergelenbach. The stream forms a small waterfall that is directly flowing into the glacier from here. A perfect moment to clean your crampons, relax and recover a bit of strength before the final push to the Fiesche Alp. I do advise to be careful around here, because the rocks can be slippery and if you get pushed into the glacier, the rescue is going to be difficult. It's not even half past 10 and we are already off the glacier. This morning we started really early. We had our breakfast at half past four and then yeah, left the hut at half past five. Given the altitude, it was a sleepless night. These huts are really not that luxurious, but yeah. All of this beauty of the glacier is totally worth it.
the way home follows the Mergelenbach. The river nurtures an incredibly beautiful ecosystem here at the top of the mountain range. Just before crossing through the Telegrad tunnel, there's one last incredible viewpoint. With the tunnel, it only takes about 1 hour and 20 minutes to get back to Fiesch Alp. From there you will be able to take the gondola down to Fiesch and catch the train home. The final meters are just an easy walk, mostly no elevation gain. If you've come this far, thank you so much for joining us on this trip. We are a very small channel, so if you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate any form of support that you are willing to give us. Click the like button, it's free, share it with a friend and comment below if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to check out part 1 if you haven't seen that one before. Thank you so much for your time and until next time.